Okay, welcome back to the Lighthouse again. I was going to do something else first, but the game didn't really want me to, it seems. Ah, so we'll just do this. Hello again, Idia. Yes, there is. Uh, yeah, that. They're very cautious. They would never remain in one place for long. However, they seem to have taken a liking to Center's landscape. Therefore, they may have stationed their ship by an inlet somewhere on the continent. And Squall, please take this with you. It is a letter I wrote. With this, they shall welcome me. Okay, so. Here's a Dia's letter. You'll notice that it is an item. We can sell this, incidentally, for a hundred and twenty-five gil, I think? Maybe a hundred and fifty. No, it's a hundred and twenty-five. Uh, why is that relevant? Because, if we sell it, then we talk to Adia, she will give us another one. If we were very patient, we could get an arbitrarily large amount of money by selling that thing repeatedly. Of course! We can just as easily get that money by running around in a circle and getting paid. Uh, but you know, it's there. <laughs> it's there. Um. Uh, okay. I'm gonna do, do this now. Uh, yeah. As long as I... Wait. Actually, I should double check this. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. We will do- we will indeed do this now. Uh... So... The White Seed ship, I have- I happen to have a pretty good idea where it is already. Which is good, because it is damn hard to find. Uh, is in this sort of maze of island- of islands? And it's quite hard to spot until you are very- until you're- pretty much right on top of it. Uh... Let's see... No. I might have come in here too early. Yeah, no, this is the wrong one. You see, th this is what I mean. I actually know I have a pretty good- or at least I know approximately where it is and I'm still looking in the wrong place. Uh, no, though. I believe the one I actually want is... here? There's a hole I can go in there, right? There's not. Here, then. Let's see... Aha! We found it! You see what I mean? Like, this thing is really hidden. So we meet again. My name is Squall. Receives from Balam. I'd like to speak to your leader. I am in charge. State your business. Depending on what you have to say, we may ask you to leave immediately. We pose no threat. Adia told us that you would be here. How indeed. Uh, yeah, that would be how. For the moment, at least. We want to take a loan back to protect her from Ultimisia. Thank you for coming, but we have no reason to believe you. Please leave us. Uh, in fact, I have a letter to prove my case, but uh, we'll, we'll talk to you about that in a moment. I think there's a... Oh, hey, there's kids here. Later say that, uh, hmm. Aha! I think that's him anyway. No, it's not. Maybe in the cabin. Oh, there he is! No, actually no, I want the other one. 
There he is. Hello, Zone and Watts. Hello, Henchmen 1 and 2. I can't even say that in good faith. Reno is not here. Ah, uh, cool. I mean, not the running for live part, but you know, being here. <laughs> that probably would not have worked out well for you. That that's not a plan. <laughs> that is not a plan. Good question. Uh, about that. She fell unconscious after the fight. She's resting in the garden now. Wow. Wow, that is uncalled for. I indeed. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so I actually want to talk to Zone, but uh, let's let's uh, let's save first. And as long as I'm in here, let's also check up on here. No, uh, home. Uh, wait. I forgot to send. Oh, whoops! Well, I just wasted my time earlier. It doesn't do it automatically. It's the problem. <laughs> Whatever. It's not a big deal. It's it's not. Uh, we're gonna just uh save over that, and we're gonna go over chase up to someone. Hey, it's a magazine. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go back to the, I need to go back to the, uh, we can do that later. It's kind of cool to watch the sea. You hardly ever get bored of it. Cool. Mm-hmm. Hey! That's the girl next door. How'd you get it? <laughs> hey, man, uh, listen. Uh, I was wondering if you could give that to me. Uh, I don't know if I should, but I will. He gave us, well, he gave us the rename card, but more importantly, he gave us the Shiva card. Uh, this one. Which isn't, you know, great, but I'm pretty sure we can turn it into something good. Are you the... No, you are not. Hmm. Where is that? Somewhere on the deck. Well, that's a drop point. Maybe that's the one I'm looking for. Indeed. Ever since we were little. It was difficult to fight against her, but we did. Fortunately, everything turned out well. Adi is no longer evil, and she's back to her old self again, the kind matron we remember. She's still dressed up as the sorceress, so <laughs> just, just throwing that out there. Well, we are both seeds. Oh yeah, this, this is the one I wanted. 
we got some holy. Which, of course, is a endgame spell. It's kind of a big deal. How much space do you have? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That'll do for now. Indeed. Oh. You know, you could have probably just told us that before. It would have saved us some time. I mean, we still would have had to figure out where she was. You probably wouldn't have told us that, but... Remember we picked her up from the, your garden near the Fisherman Crescent Coast? After we headed east to get away from Gabadia and Idea. Before long, we encountered the Galbadian fleet. They had a lot of ships. Obviously, they were searching for us. We should have been more careful. They pursued us in full force. Luckily, we were able to escape, but then our ship broke down and we were stranded. There was no way we were going to let the Galbadians stick alone. Eventually, they caught up with us and we had no choice but to prepare for battle. Then, an Estar ship appeared. A battle began between them, and we were caught in the middle of it. But then, something strange happened. The SR came up aboard. Yeah, that makes sense. They told us to get aboard their ship. It sounded like an order to evacuate. Of course, we refused. We didn't trust them, just as we didn't trust the Gobadians. As the Estar soldiers were trying to convince us, the battle became more intense. Soon they were forced to leave our ship. As the ship was pulling away, Alone yelled out something. Then all of a sudden she jumped onto their ship! It wasn't like her at all. To this day, I don't understand why she did that. After that, the fleet withdrew from the battle and fled. After they left, we... well, it's a long story. After our ship was fully repaired, we planned to go to Esthar. Is fully repaired, rather. Sorry, Squall. We couldn't protect her. We believe so. Well, next stop. Hmm, no it's not, is it? They have that pesky seawall as well. Uh... But I don't actually want to go straight to Esthar. Uh, I have... Wait, I should check. Oh, for crying out loud! Keep my freaking party in my party, please! Okay, so, there are two things that I want to do in the garden. Uh, we will be doing one of them, not this episode, for sure. But I want to see if I can do the other. So we're going to try it. 
We're gonna try. See, see if it works out. Check over here if the doctor is in. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is she never here? Where is the doctor hanging out that is not the freaking... You know, whatever. We're gonna stop up here. Join me next time when we do stuff that has nothing to do with the plot. Uh, because... It'll... Yeah. That's what we'll be doing. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII with Cast Blue. And have a great day! Bye!